Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an August book wrap up all the books I read this month. So if you guys can see anything in the background, just pretend pretend you're not. I am currently living in the dorms. I actually moved in this month, so that's why I feel like this month, um, definitely compared to last month, isn't the best. But also it was like a really good reading month at the same time. But yeah, I'm at college, so um, I'm excited for that. Still trying to figure out like how I want to vlog or like what my setup is, but I find that this has been the best case so far. So um, my boyfriend is about to come over, so I actually want to get through this. Um, book wrap, wrap up first. First thing I read is actually the Percy Jackson book series. I don't have it with me because I finished it before I moved so I didn't bring it with me. All the books that I brought were like I haven't read yet. They were on my TBR. So yeah I read that entire series. It was so good. I rated the entire series 4 out of 5. I thought all the books were good. I also watched the movie adaptations. They were not very good um, compared to the books um, which is sad and disappointing but the books were really good obviously they're for like a child and i am a 19 year old girl and so like the night um the the demographic was different but i still really enjoyed it especially because i am a sufferer for greek mythology so i really like that and it was four out of five also read the short second life of brie tanner i rated it 3.5 i believe 3 3.5 um which is funny because it's actually the third and a half or it's 3.5 in the series anyways that's unimportant but yeah i this is my first twilight book that i have rated less than five stars because twilight is my favorite um i thought the story was good but it's not vital and so that's why my rating was a little bit lower i thought it was so cool to see brand brie tanner's like point of view and see the other side of like the fight that happens in eclipse i always like Eclipse used to be my favorite and now it's my least favorite actually, which is funny, but um, I just, I love it. I, I love the fight scene um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, even if it's like rated 3.5, I really enjoyed that one. I actually read another series this month. I read the, this is actually a reread for me. I read this um, last semester in college, so a couple months ago. So I reread it, but it's not on my Goodreads, so I have read this twice. Um, it was so good the second time around it was even better I swear but the reason I reread it is because I had the two other like books in the series so I had the bride test and then the heart Pr principle I can decide which one is my favorite because they are all so good I mean I, I really cannot compare them I think I may have rated the kiss quotient of five stars um, it was a couple months ago when I read this, so I can't remember, but like five stars, and then these both were four star novels. I think they were so good, and I really love Helen Wang's um, writing. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her last name right. These are so good, and I like how um, all of them deal with autism. She's Asian, and she does have um, autism, and so I think like that is so cool how she incorporated it into her stories. And I didn't even realize that she did until this last one, um, which actually just came out in August. Um, but yeah, I really love these, um, and I'm excited that I got, I'll probably this will probably be a series I reread over and over again because it's just like so good. All right, the next one I have is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste. Um, this is actually a Hulu TV show. I think I've watched two episodes since reading it. My friend Libby and I both read this. Um, I rated it um three stars maybe like three and a half i think it was three and a half but this book was so interesting i loved hearing about the uh the characters backstories but the ending was just like left me unsatisfied i was like yeah of course i knew who started the fire but like give me more like i thought i would be getting a little bit more or like i guess they did tell us like why she did it kind of in a way um throughout the story but i thought this book was good um I think there's some interesting relationships in here, um, but yeah, if you want to watch the TV show, I think the TV show is already better than the book from just the two episodes that I've seen, but I th it's a good book nonetheless. The next um, book I read is actually a memoir, um, it's The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. Um, this is my second uh, time reading this, I actually read this my junior year for AP Lang, and I rated it 5 out of 5. This is one of my favorite nonfictions. I want to try to read at least one nonfiction every month. And so this was my August pick. And wow, this made me want to cry. Um, I, I think this was better reading it without having like class expectations. This is, I think, the best memoir I've ever read. Although I think I've only read two. 
if I'm thinking about it. Um, not including this one. Including this one, I've, I think I've only read three memoirs. But I thought this was so good and I would recommend. Um, there are Jeanette's life is insane and I think she had to be very brave to publish this. Um, and I think everyone should read it. Okay, only two more books, guys. I feel like I'm flying through this. But um, I actually have started a new series. It is the Off Campus series. I'm so excited. The fifth final book is coming out um, later in September, September 23rd or something like that. And I have all four books and I'm actually currently reading the second one. But I read the deal. I thought it was so good. I rated it four out of five. I will say check the trigger warnings on this like first page. Like check the trigger warnings before because it kind of surprised me. But I think this is so cool. I hate the cover, um, but the story is so good. And I didn't think I was gonna like it. Um, starting off, the writing is like kind of walk patty, um, but it was really good. Like I really like it, and I'm so excited. I'm like I keep on staring at the other books in the series, and I'm so ready to read it. Um, but yeah, four out of five. The next book and the last book I have for the month of August is They Both Die at the End. This book was so good. I had expected a totally different way that both of them were going to die. It differently and I really like that because um, I wasn't expecting it and it kind of got to me and I just, I fell in love with both the characters and I think that's probably the point is that, that that's what makes it sad is you fall in love with them and then they're just like, eh. <laughs> you know um but this is a solid five out of five book for me i think i think this was my only five out of five book this month um but i had a lot of four out of fives and so i consider it a very good year or a good month i also really liked how the author includes um like his actual journal i think i had 13 books because five for percy jackson then breed tanner um three for the kiss quotient Little Fires Everywhere, Glass Castle, The Deal, and then they both died at the end. Yeah, so I had 13 books, one five star, and it was such a good reading month. I'm excited for September. So many books I want to read, and I'm so excited. So I actually just recently got this book. It's another memoir, so hopefully it's really good. It's by Dolly Alderton. have no idea who she is, but I've heard this book is really good, and it's also, like, very pretty. It's called Everything I Know About Love. Um, but it has like parties, dates, friends, jobs, life all crossed out, so I'm sure she'll talk on that. Um, but I'm very excited to read this actually. Um, anyways, yeah, this is going to be my nonfiction read of next month. This is the only book I'm going to hold myself accountable to, so expect to see this book in next month's um, recap. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this book recap. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hearing about all the books that I read. Please tell me what books you read this month because I need book recommendations. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.